everyone welcome back to my restock channel in the previous tutorial we have seen how to add the button sound over here of the program now here we are going to see of check box screw because this is somewhat programming it is somewhat different so here i am with the new tutorial on this check box screw as i told in the previous video that in awt we do not create a radio button for for that purpose you have to create the, or you, you have to make the use of check box screw so for this we are going to see the same regarding the programming and using this we are going to create a radio button okay at the first i told that this all the whatever the check box group check box then the frame this all things come under which package dot awt package for for first what thing you should do you should import java dot awt dot asterisk here i have created the class x y z open curly braces then the public static void main string argues open curly braces now here i have created the frame and here i have passed the title radio button okay now what's the object of my frame that is open using the new keyword i have made the object of frame now what exactly here in this three lines only we are going to create the check, uh, radio button using the check box group and in check box or check box group tutorial we have seen that the last constructor the last constructor of check box using this we are going to create the radio button now here before going this just let me tell or introduce this now here i have created new check box here i have created two check boxes now here what i have passed m that means it will be the label just left to the left side of the check box check box now here what i have did here obg what's this this is the object of check box group for making this radio button to make this radio button we are going to pass this object which is obg which is the object of check box group this object this reference we are going to pass here even if you give this here and this true here no matter so it will execute your program successfully so this and this is what true that means by default whenever we will have a output it will be ticked that means the, the radio button will be that on and here check box b is equal to new here obj same object same check box with the reference i have passed here so here i have created the two radio buttons one is true and one is false by default i have kept here means as per the requirement the user can do now here i have created this radio button now i wanted to add this radio button so for this on the frame right so for this i will what do using this object that is ob dot add a and b so this object i will add here so what exactly here the connection will be of this two as we check box or whatever the object you have created you should pass here and using this only you can create a radio button and here set layout here i have passed flow layout that means here i have created the constructor of a flow layout using a new keyword or you can say here i have created the object with new flow layout open curly parenthesis and here i have closed of the set layout and at last which is very important method is set visible to, i have passed through that means the frame will be visible and what are the components of that will be visible so this is regarding the check box group which is nothing but a radio button now here uh, we have seen it so if you have any kind of question you can mention in the comment section and thank you so much for watching this video thank you